So $5 into $399.99. Wow. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. All right. In this video, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items that sold for big money on multiple platforms. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. Now, this video is going to look a little bit different than normal because the share format has changed. And let me show you what I'm talking about here. Instead of sharing a screenshot, everybody is going to share a sold link. So going to look a little different. Bear with me. I'm going to be reading from my phone instead of my computer. But besides that, I think that the image is going to show up better for you guys. And I think this is going to be better for everyone. So if you would like to share a bolo to be featured in a video like this, head over to the Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which is over 100,000 members now. And look for the share post under the announcements slash featured section. So the first one here is mine. It is a vintage miniature ceramic lighted Christmas tree with base approximately seven inches. Now these range in colors, sizes, different types of bulbs, but they are almost always a bolo. I got this actually in a thrift store mystery box. I used to buy Christmas mystery boxes over on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel. I've got a whole bunch of unboxings of mystery boxes that I picked up at a thrift store. I don't do this anymore, um, but when I did, I found a lot of big money bolos. So this Christmas tree probably cost me a couple bucks and I sold it for $48 plus shipping. So be on the lookout. A lot of times people know what they have and they will price these higher. All right, so this one here, it says, bought this book at a thrift store for $1.50. It sold for $380 with free U.S. shipping. Buyer paid international shipping through eBay Global. I probably could have gotten more if I had waited longer, but I needed the money for my kids for Christmas. Okay, so she sold it for less because she wanted the money to buy her kids Christmas presents. That's a good reason to sell an item fast. What do you think, guys? You want to buy presents for people, right? All right, that is... Uh, a book, Human Action, a treatsy, treatsy of economics, Ludwig von Mises, Mrs. <laughs> 1949 in dust jacket book. Okay, so let's just say nothing's going to change with how I pronounce things in the new year of 2024. I'm still going to mispronounce things, as you can see. But anyway, this book sold for $380. I'm still not sure. I guess it teaches economics. Uh, we'll just go with that. This is a Philips Sonicare Air Floss uh, Teeth Flosser, Air and Micro Droplet. And it says, I purchased this water flosser at an estate sale for $12. It was listed for about one month at $170. I sold it with best offer for $145. My eBay store is Cajun Picker, and I fancy myself a bolo finder. Thank you, Courtney. You have helped me so very much. Oh, you're welcome. Cajun Picker, guys, right here. Um, so I have a funny story for you guys. Uh, it's not a bolo. Well, it might have been a bolo, but I bought my husband and I new toothbrushes once from eBay, and I opened it up. It was one of the ones that, it might have been a Phillips. I can't remember what it is. But anyway, one of those, I opened it up and it had toothpaste on it. I was so grossed out. I returned them and I just went to the regular store. So um, as sellers out there, please check your products. If you're like going to get these items at like Amazon return pallets or at those pallet stores, please check them and make sure that they are not used because that was one of the grossest things that I have ever purchased. <laughs> so anyway, let's move on to the next one. A Wonderful Life Bailey Brothers Building and Loan of Bedford Falls, Target, 1993. So this says, I'm a new reseller. Store is WT flip did I buy? And then over here it says WTFD I buy. I took a gamble on two collections of non department 56 Christmas villages during the fall and summer. I don't see anyone talk about stuff that isn't department 56 on YouTube. Here is one of the very last pieces I sold this year because they were flying off the shelves in fourth quarter. I'm into this 
It's a wonderful life village from Target for just under 10 a piece. And they sold for between 30 and 100 per piece. I also picked up Kohl's branded Christmas village as a collection for an average of two a piece and was selling those for 25 to 50 per piece. I've gotten over 4,000 in sales in the last 90 days just from two bulk Christmas village buys. Okay, so good point here. So what I would say is if you see the Christmas villages, look them up. They are not all created equal. I actually got a huge box out of one of the Christmas mystery boxes and I almost donated the entire box because I didn't want to take it out of the box, take it out of the styrofoam, take the pictures. I was being really lazy because typically if they are not department 56, they do not sell for as much. Now there are exceptions. That's why I said, look them up. But I decided to not be lazy and I listed those bad boys and I'm still sitting on about half of them, but about half of them sold. So yes, there is money to be made some more than others, but look them up. That's just all I would say about that. Look. All right. We got this little bunny. It is a vintage Toys R Us Animal Alley bunny rabbit plush stuffed animal. And it says that it is weighted. I purchased this vintage Animal Alley bunny plush from a local Goodwill on the 18th of December sold December 24th, paid $2.99 for it and sold it for $28. And that sold on Etsy. And Etsy is a great platform for vintage items. I know a lot of people are selling plush over there. Um, I need to get my plush over there. I've been talking about it. I have put a few items over on Etsy, but I just haven't had a lot of time. Um, I do use List Perfectly to cross post and that's how I will be getting my items to Etsy. Use code BOLO BUDDIES, all one word, to get 30% off your first month of List Perfectly. And that link is down below. There's also a link with a tutorial that shows you how it works. So check that out. I purchased this retired jelly cat puppy for $1.99 at my local Goodwill on December 18th. It sold the next day for $21 plus shipping. And this one sold on Poshmark. Uh, Jelly Cat of London Plush Honey Toffee Tan Cream Bashful Puppy Dog, 11 inches. So Poshmark is also a great place to sell plush. Mercari is one of my favorite places to sell plush. So check those out. I do have referral links for those platforms down below and you will get money to shop. And so will I if you use my referral links. So check them out down below in the description. Vintage Antler Prime Down Multicolor Vest Michael Kelso Size Small. And it says defect. Not sure what the defect is. Uh, um, I bought this at my local Goodwill for $7.99 in the kids section. It sold for 50 plus shipping with missing button. Posted December 10th and sold on December 18th. It took eight days to sell. Nice little bolo. All right. The Holiday Express Animated Christmas Train Set. Number 384. And you can see over here, they have a picture of how it works. You just push play and it'll play the video. Um, I don't want to play it because it might have music. All right. So you can just kind of flip through the pictures this way as well. Uh -huh. Look how funny that is. He's flipped up. Okay. Purchased at the Goodwill for 25 Sold for full asking price of 320 within 24 hours. That is awesome. Big money bolo right there. Oh, and you guys, I wanted to tell you, um, I know a lot of you are like, should I leave Christmas listed all year round? Yes, yes, yes. I have sold, I want to say between three and five Christmas items after Christmas. So they will definitely sell after Christmas. This is a vintage Natix coin sorter model 607 adjustable table beige original box with instructions. And it says, I bought this vintage coin sorter at Habitat for Humanity Restore store for $12 on December 15th, sold on December 26th for $85.63 plus shipping. I did have it listed higher, but started an after Christmas sale and marked down my entire store 39%. I'm the Thrifty Lobster on eBay, Poshmark, Etsy. Thanks. And thank you for sharing. It's a coin sorter in the original package. Huh. Who would have thought? All right. I bought this vintage Yves Saint Laurent Avon 1982 Von Gogh enamel sunflower flower pot 
brooch pin for $2 from an estate moving sale last December 17th. I have identified the item as Bolo and of high value because I have watched Courtney and talk, Courtney talked about it in one of her Bolo Buddies videos. I listed it for $81.43 and took a best offer for $60 last December 25th. My Christmas gift to the buyer and my quest to help husband raise money to buy a house. Thank you. Wouldn't have known if it weren't for you. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, um, I do remember talking about this one. I can't remember if it was in... There was one that I did, Avon. It was Avon um, Collaborations uh, to look for. It's a brooch video. And then there's another one that was unsigned big money brooches. So if you type in Bolo Buddies brooches, it will pull up those videos. And some of them will surprise you. And thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. All right. This one here is a new old stock Bucilla Father Christmas needlepoint stocking kit. Yes, if you find the stockings, they usually do pretty good. I bought this vintage needlepoint kit at a local church thrift store for $2.50. It was half price day and listed it in April. After researching sold comps, I listed it somewhat higher since it appeared to be a hard to find kit. I sold it for my asking price of $139. I need to pick up needlepoint kits often or I'm sorry, I pick up needlepoint kits often and most sell in the 15 to 25 range. So this was a great find. Yes. So a lot of times they are just going to be bread and butter, but if you can find the gold, uh, what is it? It's the gold dimensions, dimensions, gold. Yes. If you can find those, the Bucilla stockings, anything shaped like a stocking, those typically do better. Um, I have a video that actually talks about cross stitch kits to look for. So check out that just type in Bolo Buddies cross stitch or I think, I think that's what it was under cross stitch and you will see some big money bolos. So there you go, guys, needlepoint cross stitch. Um, what's the other one called cruel? There's different ones. This one is a Patagonia, uh, says Tom Hanks castaway. He must've maybe wore this in the movie. I don't know. I don't know. It's a pullover. Let's see if it says anything. I picked this up at the Goodwill in my small town. I paid six for it and it sold for $350 at full asking price. My store name is Harbor Finds Shop. So she doesn't really mention anything about Tom Hanks. I'm guessing, I'm guessing maybe he wore this in the movie. $350. $150. So what I want to know is how do you figure out or how do you know that an actor wore this particular item in a movie? Like, how did she know that? If you guys know, let me know in the comments. Oh, wait, here, let's see what it says. This fleece was released in fall 1998 and made famous in the film Castaway as actor Tom Hanks wore it in the sagebrush color. The fleece is in great condition for being vintage. So how did she know that? That's what I want to know. <laughs> Are there groups for this that tell you things like that? That is so cool. I bought out a collection of 1 12th scale dollhouse items. Most are one inch tall and smaller. A majority of them were hand thrown pottery miniatures from the 80s and 90s. Just started selling the pottery after a long break from eBay. I have less than a dollar a piece in each item. The best so far is a redware face jug. I have two. One is still listed. I was asking $375 and took a best offer of $300. You guys, it's a mini, a little miniature jug. Look at that. Oh my goodness. How awesome is that? $300. Oh, I love it. That's fantastic. Okay, this Santa. Here's another big one. Here is another big one. Where is it? All right. It says, I purchased this University of Michigan Santa at an estate sale for five, was listed for maybe three weeks and sold for asking price of $399 plus shipping. So $5 into $399.99. Wow. It is a Lynn Haney rare 1998 number one fan University of Michigan Santa signed with the box. Wow. 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 That's incredible. All right, you guys head over to the Bolo Buddies Facebook group. Look for this month's share post, share a Bolo. I know share your best plush is still up. January will be coming soon if it's not up already. And I just added one that is called 
share a bolo with a cool story. Now, this doesn't have to be in the month of January or December. You can even go back to November. You just have to have a sold link for me to pull up. And if it has a cool story, like I went to an estate sale and yada, 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 or I went to a garage sale and this happened, something fun or exciting or cool, um, go share your bolo there. I'm going to try something a little different with that. Hopefully people are going to go share and have some really funny, cool stories for us. And I'm going to put them in video format and we're going to learn about some big money bolos. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. All the links are down below that I talked about. Um, under my link tree is the Facebook group. So come join the Facebook group and share a bolo. And thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share.